I'm gonna show you how to bypass the charging port. And this time we're gonna do it on a Can-Am model. So to start, you have to remove both seats to get to it, I found out. So you pull this little lever on the front of the driver's seat, it'll slide all the way out the front end and get that out of your way. And then for this side, you have four Phillips screws on this panel. Now, unfortunately, you also have to remove this passenger seat, otherwise it's hanging over the seat and you're not gonna be able to get it out. You just line these up straight forward and back. That should let you lift this out of place, turn them sideways to lock that seat back in. Once you got the seat off, you have access to your charging port. Then we can do the bypass test. Now, just for my test, I plug the charger into this port just to disable the toy. So that way it won't turn on when the button is being pressed. So we're gonna try to bypass the charging port to show what it should happen. For now, leave the power button off. And we're gonna take this part right here where this little rectangle's on the bottom. We're gonna trim these two wires back just enough where we can get access to the metal parts of them. They're soldered to the port, so you're not gonna be able to unplug this. So what I'll do is I'll use my pocket knife. Now make sure the power switch is off for this part, okay? Trim this back just a hair. Both wires, a little bit of a spark there just because there was a little bit of electricity in the toy that got discharged. And now you see I got a little bit of metal exposed on both wire leads. Now when bypassing the charging port, leave the power button in the on position and then you can use something metal like a paper clip or a screwdriver or your, even your, your knife if you want, but it might mess up the blade on your knife. I use a paper clip. Cross these two wires together that are touching the, uh, the rectangle. And once we do this, as long as this is in the on position, it should fire up. Now don't worry about shocking. It's going to go on the outside of your skin. You won't feel a thing. And that confirms the charging port sensor was the problem because when we bypassed this little sensor, heard the engine revving sounds and the toy turned on. And this is why I recommend using a paper clip or a screwdriver because if you use your knife, it's gonna do a little bit of a mark on your knife blade. So just keep that in mind. When you're trimming it back, make sure the toy is off. That way it doesn't spark on you. Okay. 